Hello guys, welcome back to Noobs Law School. This is Subhashri Padhi and today in this video, we are going to discuss about Holocaust genocide of European Jews. So there are numerous number of genocides that has already happened uh, throughout the world. But today we are going to discuss about Holocaust genocide that was basically done by Hitler. So guys, before discussing about what is Holocaust genocide, we should know that what is genocide. So in simple words, I can say that genocide means mass killing of people because of who they are. So this is a definition. So genocide is foremost an international crime for which individual, no matter how high in authority may be indicated, tried and punished by the International Criminal Court ICC. So according to Article 6 of ICC, this crime involves like any of the following acts committed with intent to destroy in whole or in part a national, ethnical, racial or religious group as such by killing members of the group or by causing serious bodily or mental harm to members of the group, then deliberately inflicting on the group conditions of life calculated to bring about this physical destruction in whole or in part. And the fourth one is imposing measures intended to prevent births within the group. And the fifth one is forcibly transferring children of the group to another group. So guys, before discussing about the Holocaust genocide, I would like to share something that an academy has given virtual tour of your dream NLUs, that is uh, NLU Gujarat and NLU Bhopal. Session was taken by Kriti Bhatnagar and NLU Bangalore tour was taken by Divya Kumar Gar. So basically these two sessions were already been uploaded. So guys, if you want to like avail the uh, uploaded video and you want to see the virtual tour, tour of your dream NLUs, so you should definitely use my code that is T-H-R-I-N-A-T-H-10 in order to get the recorded videos. So the another one is legal reasoning revision series. So these are the revision series for legal reasoning part of any law entrance questions. So these were taken by Samiksha Chaturvedi, Subham Burma and Raghvinder Pratap Singh. So these are all, uh, these are also uh, like recorded revision sessions. So guys, uh, these are already recorded and uploaded. So if you want to avail those videos, you should definitely use my code that is T-H-R-I-N-A-T-H-10. Now talking about what is Holocaust genocide. So I've already said that genocide means mass killing of people because of who they are. So Holocaust genocide means the holo it was the process that started with discrimination against Jewish people that um, like as I've already said, this genocide is led by Hitler. So this genocide was against Jewish people and this Holocaust ended with killing of millions of people because of who they are. So it was the process that became increasingly brutal over time. And the Holocaust was a period in history at the time of World War II, that is between 1939 to 1945, when millions of Jews were murdered because of who they are. Between 1941 and 1945, people were murdered on a scale that the world had never seen before. And these killings were organized by Germany's Nazi party and it was led by Adolf Hitler. So basically, Jews were the main target of the Nazis and the greatest number of victims were Jews. Nearly 7 out of every 10 Jews in Europe were murdered because of their identity. Now talking about what actually led to the Holocaust genocide, like like what all are the main reasons because, because of what Holocaust genocide happened? The first one is the aftermath of the First World War, like the result of the First World War. Like in first 1918, when Germany lost the First World War, many people within Germany, including Adolf Hitler, found this loss very difficult and humiliating to process. Instead, many looked for scapegoats to blame. Okay. So after the like result of the first world war, Germany lost the war. So uh, then, then there are many unsettled conditions in Germany that encourage the popularity of nationalism and nostalgia, nostalgia for the country's pre-war strength. So nationalism was a key factor in the rise in popularity of nationalist political parties such as Nazis and in turn ideas such as anti-Semitism. 
they also believe that germany was a better country than others and their people superiority meant they could have should dominate other people this led germany to invade and take over other countries before and during world war 2 okay then what uh, then anti semitism was one of the most fundamental cause of the holocaust okay so the rise of anti semitism over the course of the early 20th century was extremely dangerous it uh, like this anti semitism allowed an overtly anti semitic party such as the nazi to come to power in 1933 so hitler and the nazis considered jews to be an inferior race of the people who set out to weaken other races and take over the world so hitler believed that Jews were particularly destructive to destructive to the German Aryan race and did not have any place in Nazi Germany. And the third reason was the rise of the Nazis and the role role of Adolf Hitler. So Nazis were racist and believed that uh, what they called their Aryan race was more important than others. And the Nazis said an Aryan was somebody who is Germanic. so the nazis believed that jews roma black people and other ethnic groups were inferior to aryans so then uh, as a leader of the nazi party adolf hitler played a key role in the ideas behind the events leading up to and the unfolding of the holocaust then the fourth reason was radicalization of the administrative of the nazi state that is glacial tank coordination so this process of coordination was repeated through almost all aspects of the government policy which helped to align existing institutions to be sympathetic to nazi ideology this in turn allowed the nazis to continue to push the boundaries of and slowly radicalize persecution and the fifth one is effects of second world war so the second world war resulted in an extensive radicalization of nazis antisemitic policy so basically the second world war played a vital role in radicalizing the nazis antisemitic policy into genocide the nazis reacted to some events in the war by escalating their actions against jews uh, one of the example of this was the murder of reinhard heydrich and the subsequent mass killings of civilians and liquidation of the village of lidice so during world war 2 rescue of jews and other targeted by nazi germany was not a priority of the united state government nor nor was it always clear to allied policy makers how they could pursue large scale rescue in europe so basically these are the five main reasons that led to holocaust genocide so what can we learn from holocaust genocide the first is it teaches us more than just the historical facts of how and what occurred during this disgusting blight of human history and uh, this also teaches us the lesson to lesson that holocaust education that what hatred bigotry racism antisemitism and intolerance can led to and it also shows that how the people like stand up against all forms of hate and prejudice uh, during that holocaust genocide and uh, like due to gain some political power or or the wish to rule the whole world Uh, some people will divide us easily by some leaders and how easily we people get convinced or get influenced and divided on the basis of religion caste and classes and forget about the humanity and start irrelevant killings murders war on this basis or fight against another religion so these all we can learn from holocaust and how the people like stand up against all forms of hate and prejudice this during holocaust so guys that's it for today's video and if you like the way uh, we like describe you the cases so you should definitely like share and subscribe our channel so thank you